Hey guys, Ed Bud here, and today I've got news of the running variety. If it's your first time here at the channel, I welcome you. Please do make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications of when I launch those new videos. If you're particularly into running shoes, you'd be most welcome here in the community of running shoe enthusiasts. That's the word. Let's get to it with the running news. Story number one. On Running are set to release their new subscription-based running shoe. This one's gonna set you back 25 pounds initially to get you into the subscription service. The Cyclon is the shoe that you will never own, say, on running, anyway. It's a bit like those PlayStation 5 digital versions that have come out recently where you will sort of buy a license to play the game, I suppose, or at least to own a copy of the game. I guess these shoes won't really be yours as such because when they run out you can simply send them back to on running and they'll recycle them and send you more. I believe that the shoes, part of the shoe at least, is made of caster beans which are extremely easy to grind up and recycle and create new midsoles out of. I think it's quite a unique variation on the subscription service actually, a recyclable shoe. Sign-ups and pre-orders are available on their website right now. I will post a link in the description so you can go and check that out if it's your bag. It's not a bad looking running shoe, quite futuristic. Reminds me a little bit of those uh, Juice X games that used to be out on the PC and consoles. Slightly cyberpunk looking sort of thing. Very simple design, minimalist. I think the £25 payment covers your first month on the subscription service, but at present, I believe that gets you into their notification scheme and they'll provide you with developments as to when the shoes could be available. Saving the world one shoe at a time. Story two, the Atreyu running company now have pre-sales up for their The Artist carbon plate running shoe. It's 100 big ones to get yourself a pre-sale pair of The Artist, but I think they've got to hit 5,000 sales first before they put the order in. I think the timer runs out on the October the 7th, so if you're interested in that shoe, please get over there and pre-order yourself a pair. I think at time of publishing this video, there are around about a thousand pairs sold on the pre-sale. They have stated the artist's shoe doesn't have a PBAX midsole, so I think a few early reviews suggested it might be, but it certainly isn't a PBAX midsole, but a very cushioned one nonetheless. In the men's US size 9, which is a UK size 8, this one clocks in at 6.2 ounces, about 175 grams. There's a 35mm stack in the heel on this one, around about a 6mm drop, so ideal for tempo-based stuff. Possibly some racing, I guess, at that sort of level of lightness. A level of lightness? Low weight. I think that's what I was trying to get at. Atreyu running companies state that the upper on this one is the same as their base level model. I think that will be great for a lot of people. They seem to really enjoy the upper on that shoe. They're looking to have these ready for spring 2021. That seems like a, a long way away right now. Busy at work right now. It's crazy. Business intelligence is what I'm into right now. It's good stuff. Do check out the delivery options here though on the pre-sale. I do believe some people over in Australia did try to purchase them, but they were unable to. Some issue with the delivery location. So it might be that you're not able to deliver them to your specific country. I might be completely wrong, but when I've tried to do it, it looks fine. So a very interesting shoe from a very interesting company. I'll put a link to the artist at the Atreyu running company in the description below. Story three. The Harvard Gazette recently published a very interesting article with some quite alarming news. Daniel Liebman formed these conclusions from some work done by some of his former undergraduate students. They've been studying the effect of toe spring when wearing sandals and modern running and walking shoes. They found that shoes with a more curved front in the midfoot and the forefoot were stopping us from using certain muscles within our foot and putting greater strain on other areas of our foot. Certain muscles just doing less work due to that curve. So there's a lot of running shoes, certainly I've got right now, which have a considerable curve. Not all of them, I guess. There's quite a few that have none. Might sound great that part of our foot's doing less work, but sadly they found that it was the opposite. 
Certain parts of the foot were losing strength due to the fact they weren't having to work harder. They found that the reduction in strength in certain areas of the foot were causing injuries or were more likely to cause injuries like plantar fasciitis. Where modern shoes have got huge stacks of cushion, arch support, and of course those carbon plates. These could be guilty of actually making certain parts of our foot weaker and weaker as time goes on. Be interesting to see if there's more study into these types of shoes which seem to be effort relieving or fatigue lessening and so on. Maybe it's just moving the fatigue to other areas of our foot. There's nothing like strapping on some standard old running shoes and just grinding out some miles though. Building up the strength is a good thing. Feels good. And you can eat a whole pizza when you get back and you know you've earned it. Story four. Nike have unveiled some quite insane digital statistics for the last quarter. They reckon that their digital sales were up 83%, which I guess makes sense really because everybody's been at home. Although then we were sort of told to go back to work and I've been told to go home again. Who knows? They reckon it's triple growth actually in certain areas. I think most of it's from launching those new products online. They've become masters at doing that and selling out of stuff very quickly. I reckon they could have got it even higher if they'd made more pairs of alpha flies and next percents available and dunk lows as well i really wanted a pair of those but you just can't buy them they appear to be moving their sales model certainly to deal more directly with customers rather than going through bricks and mortar stores even their own actually of course they've all been closed at the second quarter of this year and slowly start to open again over the summer i think this appears to have kicked adidas and puma into action as well they've had to realize they've got to step up their game to get close to Nike in those respects. Adidas have been far more aggressive in terms of their marketing and Reebok too. You know, you had the launch of the Adi Zero Pro and the Adi Zero Adios Pro. They really did push that one. And even Puma's Speed 500 as well. That was just everywhere at one point. So they are realizing that more aggressive marketing is working in the digital realm. Good to see some healthy competition there. And let's hope that those deals transfer across to runners' feet. That's all the running news for today. The classic musical interlude. I think Fergus appeared. I've been listening to a lot of Cat Stevens. I love tracks like Moon Shadow and Don't Be Shy. Just beautiful, simple acoustic guitar tracks. We really love Cat Stevens' voice as well. He sounds so similar right now as well, where he's come back and started playing a lot of those tracks again. Everybody knows Father and Son, and the first cut is the deepest. Another classic, which I can't believe is never been used for a dog food advert is I love my dog. I just don't understand why no one's picked up on it. It just would work so well. The dog's sort of running along and there's a guy with a big sack of food and then the guy gets knocked over by the dog and he just rips open the food and all along in the background Cat Stevens playing I love my dog. It would work perfectly. Go and check out some of his stuff. Cat Stevens done some beautiful material thanks for watching through to the very end of today's video guys i very much appreciate it hope you're all doing okay out there and most importantly keep running it helps the channel out a huge amount if you'd hit that subscribe button click the bell for notifications below and also give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies my name's ed bud and i'll be seeing you